Too well fed, I can't sing. <laughs> I'm not used to this, we're used to deprivation. Good evening, people. We're our blind power. I'll just tell you briefly what's going to happen. We're going to play ten songs about uh, uncouth and uh, interesting people and the horrible things they do to us on a regular day to day basis. Then we're going to go off and wander around in little circles for 45 minutes, and then we're going to come back and play for another hour and a half. And by which time you'll have had enough of us and enough barbecues and probably enough beer as well, which is an irresponsible habit. More of which later. And um, we can all go our separate ways and uh, have a splendid time. Okay, we're going to start with the man who came in third, which I dedicate tonight to uh, the very wonderful Margaret Beckett. You! Not a man, is she? She came in third. Oh, no. Close enough. She came in third. Are we functioning? I think so. Let's go then. One, two, three, four. but it's so humid. <laughs> Joseph brought his drum kit from Chad Valley. It's a little old <laughs> crooked stuff. It's just antiquated, that's all. It's a little old. Nothing wrong with being old. 
louder. Remember those things you get in the catalogue for about twenty pounds? You have plastic drumsticks. Twenty so. pounds? I wouldn't pay that much for a drum kit. <laughs> Dear Lord alive. We're going to play a, a spiritual piece now. It's called General Winter. It's about a village I come from in Somerset called Castle Carey. There's a wonderful church there, in which as a child I'd be dragged for the harvest festivals. And I'd sit there and I'd fall asleep. But before I slept, I would see the most beautiful visions and then I would have beautiful dreams. And I still have those dreams today. Now we know. No, you don't. One, two, three, four! Turn my 
Uh, I've just been shifting the set list around to confuse Dominic. Because without his flares on, he gets really, really worried if things go wrong. This is Animal Farm. And, um, how much is or was the uh, poll tax in Osset, by the way? Does, did anyone bother to find out? Because I was led to believe that they had an extra £500 to pay for the surveillance equipment to keep the train spotters out of Healy Mills marshalling yard. I don't, know if that's, I don't know if that's correct or not. But if it is, then I'll feel really guilty. <laughs> I am. I am. Many a time I've attempted to sneak down the bank to photograph the shunters. But we uh, must point out that none of the rest of us are. <laughs> Are there any railway staff here tonight? <laughs> We're all keeping quiet. Are there anyone like... Does anyone here have the power to issue a permit to... Uh, oh, it's alright, okay, we'll get on with this. Get on with this. Sorry, chaps. Animal Farm. One, two, three... Oh, 
country and western every now and then. So this is Gabriel the Angel and we've got something for everyone so this is a country and western song. It's a courtroom drama in which uh, Cain is on trial for murdering his brother but we know he didn't do it really because Cain was able to be joy and able so was Cain's. Witness here doing here. Yeah. Horrible. Can you stoke the fire up a bit? There's a bit more smoke going. It's a song about my hometown in Somerset, which is called Castle Carey. And, uh, if you've lived there for 17 years, you too would fantasise about burning the place to the ground. The finest traditions of English folk music is very long, endlessly long, has absolutely no moral point to it, and uh, really slow. But we'll be back in five minutes after the, we play this one, so stick with us. Yeah, hold on, lads, I think. Uh, new strings, sorry. 
new guitar for him. That's a lousy excuse. Well, if there's any guitar players there, I'll understand. It's industrial sabotage, that's what it is. Guns are cast One, two, three, four!
Oh Lord. It's lightning over the hills. Well, let it stay there. This is in the lines of Graves. Dedicate this to the amazingly dead poet Robert Graves. 99 years ago last Sunday he uh, was born. He's dead. Functioning. Well, we hope it doesn't rain. It's not our fault if it does. I just want you to know this. So don't hold it against us. Well, Sophie's going to. Enjoying yourself? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Marshalling Yard without doing a song about the railways. This is Paradise Sold. Yes. And this is dedicated to all. Yes, Chris, I'm sorry. Sorry, you go in and have a drink. I know you hate it. 
is dedicated to all the people of Kent and Surrey who aren't very pleased with the new Channel Tunnel fixed link that is being built to their back gardens because they like motorways, they don't like railway lines. We say get stuff to them because we feel that the county of Kent should be plowed with salt, bulldozed into the sea and the biggest railway yard in the world built there. One of the few power stations and coal mines for good measure as well. This is Paradise Sold. <laughs> Along Caesar's belt and through at the south Beat the armorers and leave my mail shirts out Like the fires from end to end From the east Sussex downs and the winter Kent You can call your sons in from the fields again We get the children home from school today Come this way To tell the world of Surrey's plight Of the children's tears and their parents' fight For their wimpy home and its plummeting price So as the wheels begin to spin The dissident, decadent, distant kin Down from the north as the navvies move in The hawking and the hunting and the climbing of trees That's all we found time to do But up went the standards and down came the rain The Garden of Eden was branded and chained By the seizing of land and the staking of claims Now there's no time to lose Enterprise culture of drowning The water's as dirty and deep as it looks And it's Painted with vistas and planted with gorse Undiscovered from time to tease But the face and the leg went so studied and fine We pitted with quarries, we shafted with mines Bound him with bridges and broke him with irons Blackened the silver sea
play two more songs, then it's time for a break. Hopefully, uh, all this lot will pass over while uh, that happens. But to, to blow the man down. Uh, it's grim up north, isn't it? You know? It's great. I've so they tell us. Thunderstorms, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make it quick. I really like playing acoustic instruments, you know. It's not dangerous in a thunderstorm, so they tell me. As long as I don't suck the microphone. Have you seen some of the forked lightning? It's brilliant. Blow the man down. One, two, three, four. Another one that I mean is fixing for dicks Love his sorrows, helps them grow His scars and his arms are self-inflicted The dead horror can't take close Is it better to light a single candle Or light to curse the darkness? Wish 
shake the sand around until someone found it out and they bring the mirror on the gate and the red wings left away. show we've ever had. Here he comes! Yeah, how are you doing? Hello! Yeah. So long as Gore permits. Why are we carrying on being the Doors, Joseph? No, no, no. I have been we can be the Australian Doors. Yeah. I have been informed that Gore, uh, Thor is up there having his wily way with the goats. No, Gore so has got wild reins. <laughs> Disrespect. It wasn't my idea. I'll tell you what, if it starts raining again, if anyone wants to come up here in the shelter, then step into our office, we won't mind at all. We're not sort of, you know, let's break down the barriers. So, well, uh, let's get on with the winter's tale. Okie dokie!
This is the sun in splendour. Well, we'll see what happens. That's because it's night! Nice. <laughs> Off we go then. I shan't waste too much time. One, two, three! It's just typical. <laughs> <laughs> 
Can't believe it. I guess it serves you right, really. If you'd all had Through pizza, it would have been all right. We can't be the summer lightning. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Tempting fate, summer lightning. Hang on, that. Oh, Darren, tell a joke while I quickly fix this. Joseph's just realised that his drum kit really was from the catalogue. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to tighten a couple nuts up, that's all. It's the rainy He's just season. tightening his nuts up. It's the rainy season. That was a bit obvious, wasn't it? Just <laughs> this, uh, this next song's a dirty story about T. Lawrence of Arabia. And all the uh, dubious things he got up to in his cottage with small boys. Right, right. so just cast yourself into the burning heat of the desert and uh, <laughs> leave us here. Yeah. Trooper Shaw. Yeah. One, two, three, four. It's an anti-drinking song because Bacchus. I don't, I don't drink beer. Bacchus. I don't see why anyone else should. Bacchus. Cheers, Sophie. It's all about Bacchus, in which uh, Bacchus, the beer god, goes to the doctor, very, very ill, and the doctor says, "You must give up drinking, or you will die." And when Bacchus gives up drinking, all his friends give up drinking too. So Bacchus on the wagon. Oh, oh, listen, this is deadly serious. <laughs> One, two, three, four! Oh, I'm 
I'm descended from Norman nobility. Right? Oh, yeah. My ancestor was one Gilbert de Hatcher. Came over here with the conquest, descended of Rolf the Ganger of Norway. His name was the Harris of Gilbert Gilbert the Axe. My ancestors are well hard. This is a story, it's a recorded true story, how Gilbert de Hatcher was out riding one day, came across a maiden fair beset by a beast of gargantuan proportions. Realising the creature was too big for him to deal with, he left them to it. And common sense has prevailed in our family ever since. There's a fine German phrase, Du redest scheiße. There's a fine English phrase called, Bob is crap. But I choose not to use it because I'm charitable. This is a stupid folk song. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, the bear was shorn and the bush was born When the 
Nobody any good. Didn't blow any good to the coalfields in County Durham. They all closed down. And now they don't send low grade power station cars to Ferry Bridge anymore, which is a great shame. There's too many 56s there these days. Until noon, I got 
Sophie Darling, the car. It's raining, isn't it? By far the most efficient member of our staff, you know, this one. All the others are disrespectful and don't do as they're told. And one of them runs away from thunderstorms. <laughs> so Pastor Skull, the devil's friend, is going to get you in the end. It's an anti blood sport song in which St. George killed the dragon. Now we are going to kill St. George. Anyone who wants to join in, feel free. <laughs>
moment is called the Snow Night. Chaps are going to thrill you now by carting you back to your youth when you all used to wear flare trousers instead of just storming it. <laughs> They're going to play a lovely piece of music which you can obviously relate to if you're as old as me. Off you go, chaps. Everyone that's getting very wet out there. It's a horrible, ugly, nasty song. It's about um, Joan's in prison in France having a really bad time. And uh, one of the prison guards falls madly in love with her. He cannot understand why she fails to respond to his amorous advances. So he burns her, which of course is the correct response in this situation. I'm sure we've all done it once or twice. And done to us. This is a dirge. And once we tune to the guitar, we'll have a moment's dramatic pause. Is it, is it raining at the moment? No. Oh, I'm very glad. If it does rain, do feel free to come in under the uh, under the roof here. We really, really honestly. Why does he not want to Feel free to step into our office if it's getting wet. This moment's dramatic pause. That oh, was dramatic, wasn't it? It was, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Identify these keys. They've got a uh, good Lord alive. There's a royal coat of arms on them. It says Oniswaki Mali Ponce, which is French. Well, but of course, that, are listen, I don't think we should have French mottos anymore because if they're not prepared to print English words on their uh, official stationery, then I think we should do away with them, their rotten oh. motto. So Oniswaki Mali Ponce, right? That's what I say to Mr. Up yours, Dolores, I believe the expression. <laughs> <laughs> now this is about um, the uh, 15 years or so of sleaze rule we've had from the Conservative government. Now I don't, well I do mind, you know, I do mind the people screwing the country up, closing everything down and generally giving everyone a bad time. If I could respect them I wouldn't mind it so much, but um, we've had Cecil Parkinson, we've had all manner of exciting things like that. So uh, we're going to celebrate it all with a black plastic bag, an orange, and a little touch of Harry in the night. One, two, three, four.
Serving member of Her Majesty's forces or the fire brigade of the police, they've lost their keys. Oh, yeah. I'm going to hang them up. Has anyone got a little thing I can hang these on so you can see them? Um, I don't know what's going on behind me, it's most irrational, but I'm going to start talking about foxes and how much I hate them, which is why this song is about His Royal Highness King George IV, who only killed a few hundred thousand in his lifetime. Oh, you've got to take no, over no, no children. You've got to take over them. Sophie, um, would you come and set an example of adult behaviour and pass me my orange juice, please? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, yes! Plastic bag, orange, I'm well away! Has anybody got some rope? You've got a spare guitar lead or something? <laughs> <laughs> You know that one, there was a young man called Stephen? No. Um, this is Royal George. The Royal Iron is George IV. Thank you so for lucky that he never got any of his horrid pavilions up this way. One, two, three, four! 